Welcome back everyone. Today, I'm going to be going over the top 5 most dangerous monsters in Doors, and how to beat them. Without further ado, let's get into it. For the number 5 spot, we have Rush. Rush is an entity that spawns relatively frequently in many doors. If he catches you, it is an automatic death, which is part of the reason why I put him on this list. The best way to avoid Rush is to notice when the lights flicker and hide in a closet after the glass shatters. This way, Hyde doesn't get you for hiding in the closet for too long. Note, Rush will never attack you when you are in a dark room. In the number 4 spot, we have Holt. Holt is an entity that is relatively easy to survive, but the reason I put him in number 4 is because if you're new to the game and you don't know what you're doing, it is so easy to die to Holt. Another reason I put him this high is because it takes quite a long time for you to survive Holt's attack and there's a lot of room for error, meaning you might accidentally mess up and die. You can tell that an entity is Holt, because the lights in the hallway will flicker for the longest time. Then, you will be teleported into a long, dark, narrow hallway, where every couple seconds the screen will flicker, showing text such as turn around and run. To survive Holt, when these messages appear, quickly run in the opposite direction and repeat this. Note it might take a while to fully survive Holt's attack. For number 3 we have Ambush. Ambush is similar to Rush in the fact that his attack is an instant kill. The reason I put him higher on the list though, is because instead of attacking once like Rush, he can attack up to 6 times. This makes just hiding in the closet not an option, as Hyde will eventually just kick you out. The best way to survive Ambush is to enter the closet, then when you see him pass you, get out of the closet and then quickly get back in. Be prepared to repeat this process up to 6 times. In the number 2 spot, we have Seek. Seek is an entity that will spawn randomly on either door 30 to 40 or 80 to 90. You can always foreshadow Seek's attack by the eyes on the walls. The reason I put him on the number 2 spot is because although after practice his attack can be easily avoided, just like Hulk, there's always a chance of error when you are running away from him, especially because his attack lasts for a long time. This, combined with the utter chaos of his attack, is why he is a deadly encounter. If you ever face up against him, make sure to follow the glowing light and avoid going up against the black arms, which kill you instantly. Also try to avoid the burning chandeliers, which deal heavy damage. In number 1, of course, you probably expected it, we have Figure, obviously. More specifically, level 50 Figure. In level 50, you will encounter Figure and be required to look for books that each have a specific numeric key. You'll be required to collect each of these books, as well as the piece of paper, telling you what the code is. Once you gather every single book and the piece of paper, you need to make your way up to the front door. Enter the code that you have newly figured out, and then quickly escape, all while avoiding figure. This is very hard, and I sometimes even still struggle with this. It's best just to keep your distance, as well as use vitamins and crouch. One note is that you should only use closets when absolutely necessary, as they will trigger a minigame. Oh yeah, he's also an instant kill, and he's fast as f 